Hey, good morning everyone. Hey, um, I want to share a quick word of encouragement with you this morning. In my quiet time, I was felt led to um, read Psalm 13. It's a very short psalm, but very powerful here. As David is speaking, he's praying, he's crying out to God for relief from despair. Um, so I hope this speaks to you today. This is where you are. And I'm going to read the first three verses right now, and we're going to talk about these. Um, and it reads, Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will the enemy have the upper hand? Turn to me and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle in my eye, or I will die. Wow. Um, like I said here, in this, in this psalm, David is crying out to God and asking Him to hear Him. He pleads with, the, with Him, as it says, to restore the sparkle of His eye to fill him with life again. Have you ever felt this overwhelmed? Or maybe that's where you, feel, where you are right now. Have you tried everything and still your heart is despondent? David felt that way. When he was saying, Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? He's asking him, Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart, every day? The good news is, and this is what I want to encourage you with today. That David went on, went to the Lord with his problems. And he wants us to do the same thing. He did not sulk. He did not drown in his sorrow or complain to others about how unfair life was. Instead, he took his issues to God. And God heard him. But I love how David finished this psalm by saying, But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because He is good to me. Today, you have this song to live out, guys. Ask the Lord for His grace to trust Him today and every single day. Well, guys, just a quick word of encouragement. I hope this psalm speaks to you. Um, please read it. So as I said, it's only six verses. Meditate on it. Let it speak to you. If you do have anguish right now in your heart, cry out to God. And remember that He, His unfailing love, you can trust in it. And you can rejoice because He will rescue you. And you can sing to the Lord because He is good to you. Well, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you.